Hey guys, it's Kelly. Um, I'm like very like most of I don't know if you can tell if my eyes are bad or not, but I literally was just crying because of my virtual escape. So as you guys may know, he said six episodes in this final season. This episode that just came out tonight on YouTube was episode five. So next episode's the finale, and then there's all the options for your wish. My heart. Let me just say Brooke for Joseph because he lost Isaac, which I talk more into after he lost his daughter, lost his um wife, Isaac's mother, his, no, um, Mary too, and then, anyway, so the f I have a whole page full of things, so let me just get started, and yeah. first I want to say, um, his video from the secretary is a slap in the face referenced and he and he said the phrase sick nasty which has been said in his in this series so i just thought it was interesting to bring up like how those are connected um I, yeah i just i finished watching it and i just needed like a minute to like i might cry i can't like cut this it's just so sad like i'm really upset about it like i'm upset I'm trying to, I'm like so hot right now. I don't want to turn on the AC, so I don't want to affect the sound. Um, no back in the taunting Isaac in the beginning, you know. <laughs> Forgot exactly what I said. Uh, my brain is just all over the place, guys, so I'm sorry if I'm not. Just, you know. You know, when they were fighting about his sister and stuff. Saying all the stuff about people you lost, Solomon, Beck, and his sister, just taunting Isaac. And then Isaac made a reference of what's with all this biblical stuff, like Bible stuff. Now, as you guys know, if you don't, all, a lot of the stuff in my virtual escape is, has to do with Bible stuff, like all the names and stuff. So, but yeah, it's sad as the series is ending. One more episode left, which I don't know. It could be a week it comes out. It could be because last episode came out well within a week so of, the, of the one before it. So, yeah, last episode, and what was it called? Haven. That episode came out what, a week after the episode before that came out, so who knows? Because I don't know how long, like, I doubt the finale is going to be that long because it was about Isaac's story, and Isaac, you know, is spoiled or dead now. So, anyways, then, and then they were dueling where Eve was created, which was in, um, where Larry, Jackie, and, um, Jesse's mother works at that, um, canvas place, so that's kind of cool. Um, and the whole fun times thing with Isaac and Abraham. I told the episode was sad, showing the memories. I will say this, it was weird they didn't show much of any of Isaac's memories, really. I mean, it, it showed Isaac as a kid in it, but it was mostly with the Ragnar's memories. And how it showed a little spider and he had the spider stuff. And he, uh, he, and how, um, Joe wanted to call the thing My Virtual Escape. Just those little references to other things. And we learned so much through all the unanswered questions, so. Now we just understand more. And how Isaac was telling Ragnar how he made a fun game. So yeah, that was. Yeah. And, oh, and when he said Overlord knows all the thoughts, all their thoughts and memories. That's kind of weird, because I wouldn't want that, like, playing a game like that and know all your memories and stuff, because why? Some memories you don't want people to know, some things you don't want people to know, and I don't know. I just think that's weird. Sorry if I'm not going into more detail, I just have a lot, and, like, you know. Um, and, I like, in the flashback, when they show in black and white, Arachnid and Joe, how they were friends, Joseph, and they were talking about creating the Eve game, and how it's just everything... So that was kind of cool to show the process, how everything came to be in the series, in a way, you know. And how everyone played their part. And then Joel hires Archie, and remember he said if they got, if him and Abraham got into a fight, Archie had been a moderator, and that's where he was in the game. He was the quote-unquote moderator. Sorry. Here's some water for my throat. Um, so yeah, I thought that was interesting. You know, they're like, I don't know. That's just something interesting to me. Um, what else? And 
Now, this next one I have to say I got this idea from an Instagram person who I whom I follow on Instagram, um, a Joker Nuggets fan page. He said this day of how Abraham could be Isaac's real father, which obviously we're not gonna know. But I did say this in like early episodes, like Ray episodes ago, like I think kind of in the beginning once we so got to know about um, Arachnid a little bit more. That they are kind of like Isaac and Arachnid in the way if you think about it. Like you see the similarities in them, which I find cool. You see all the similarities in them, like how they're both badasses and stuff. Just you, like their personalities collide. And you saw Abraham slept with Isaac's mother. So, I mean, I don't know. I just think it's... I don't know. I just feel like, why would they show them in bed together if it didn't mean something? That he could be the father. I don't know. And Abraham with both of those kids, too. And they shouldn't flash my mom. And Noah's interview saying how he came out of his mom's. You know what? That was just... I was cracking up during his interview. And the way he talks, he kind of stutters a little bit. I'm not trying to make fun of people who stutter. I'm really not. But I don't know. I just found it funny. I like how they show like Isaac as a kid with, with Martha babies in him. Because you know episodes where Martha was talking about how he always used to babysit Isaac. And they were always like she was always there for him getting him out of trouble. So that was cool how to see that you know. To kind of see Isaac as a kid. And how he kind of was a cool kid. I don't know. Um. And now we know why Isaac's afraid of water because he almost drowned because Arachnid not paying attention just like what happened to his sister. Like Arachnid with these kids, man. And it's, I also noticed too, like after the sister was born, Isaac saw where the being is really started to become a bit emo though, you could see after the sister was born. So I don't know, it's interesting. And, and he saved them though. And well, I, it was weird that Isaac, when Isaac got up from drowning, you know, like after Abraham saved him, he said to, he ran away and said to, for Abraham to get away from him, like maybe because he drowned in his watch, I don't know, almost drowned. And they named, and his sister was named Eve, and they named, and they named, Joe named the game after her, so that was kind of sweet. Like all that room I heard, but also made me sad at the same time. Um... And Abraham's fault her sister died because she's talking about when he was making the games about the animals. And he said about making her a bird so she, she can fly away and leave him alone. And she climbed to the window and like jumped out thinking she could fly. And she hit the ground and when Joe was hugging her you could see the puddle of blood on the floor. She hit her head. And then that's when Isaac saw the memories too. And Isaac, you know, knows now. Which, uh, but, but I don't understand why did Isaac blame himself? That's why I don't understand. And why would they say I like what? And when what Tommy said, remember, call, they used to call him in high school. What Tommy said, Isaac killed her. So why would they say that if Isaac had nothing to do with it? And why would Isaac blame himself? Because it wasn't his fault that she died, obviously. So that I don't know. That's still confusing me. If you guys have any ideas, leave in the comments. Um, I just put sad and when they showed Adam and Joe, that was cool. I like how to show like how the game was created and everything, and that Joe left the helmet. I don't know. And then it made me. I started crying too, and Joe saw Eve in the game, and she appeared, and they hugged. That, that made me cry. Oh my god, I feel it coming again. Yeah, it was just. Oh my god, it was just so sad. It's so sweet, you know. Like it just, I don't know. Just how much he saw. Just all all the stuff that happened, you know. The stuff that could happen in your life and you never think it could happen. I don't know. And then when he showed, like, when Mother Sarah first came up, obviously you can tell that that was after she started helping Isaac. No, I didn't understand. Why was, why was Joe beating Isaac? Like, they showed him in the basement here. Isaac and Isaac took off his shirt and bathroom. You saw the bruise on his chest. Like, I didn't understand that because Isaac didn't do anything. You know? Isaac, like what we, when Isaac would talk about this, it seemed like she really loved his sister and sister. They seemed like they really did get along and loved each other, so I don't understand that part. Um, I like too when they turned around to do Isaac left at the mail, then he appeared again and he... I can't even like talk about this right now. He, he died. He died. 
I, I can't help this. I love Isaac. You know, I, I, I mean, they first, he was first in um, the Jesse's world, supposedly, last year, you know, like a year ago. I didn't. Then once he started series, we got to know him. It's like, I don't know. I started to really like him. Why did, I don't understand it. Because I remember Jesse said the bad ending and good ending. I guess this is the bad ending, but I don't understand how we got to the bad ending. It seemed like we're making pretty good choices. I mean, I know there's some other choices, like we could have saved Solomon and stuff. Like those were Joe's choices. You could have done different, but still. In the season, the, the se I keep saying the season finale. It's a series finale, guys. <sighs> Anyways, no one. Um, no one. On some other news, I have my Wii hooked up right next to me. So if you guys want to see any cool Wii, me doing any Wii games, I can record some stuff if you guys want to see that. And other, like, happier news. But anyways, that was just, it broke my heart. I love Isaac. You know, um, yeah, so stuff I want to talk about. There's that funny part we know, and, and then once the after, once they show, like, the sister falling out and she was dead, I just started crying the rest of the episode from there. Anyways. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to both channels. Sorry I haven't posted anything on the other channel. This video obviously will be on the other channel, but there's no comments, so. Yeah, and like I said, after this series is over, I'm going to be doing BTS, so you have that to look forward to. Right? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Really sad. Can't wait for the series finale. That's, well. Anyway, I'll probably make a video after that just talking about the whole series in itself. How much it was amazing. Anyways, I'm going to go now. Gonna go edit, gonna go relax for the rest of the night. Gonna try and be happy. Now see you guys in the next video. Oh, sign my YouTube petition in the comments and follow me on my other social media in the description below. This is I haven't done a video this long for the Juggernaut in a while. Because the last few videos I haven't had much to talk about. And, and there's just so much to talk about with this one. So much happened and we learned so much. The why it's afraid of water and stuff. I don't think I'm so confused about why Isaac blamed himself for his sister's death. I don't know. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. I know you're going to miss the series and that's what I do. Please give it a watch if you guys haven't watched it before. It's an amazing series. I always put the links in the description. So please click on them. Please show Jesse some love. He's this amazing creator. And yeah. And as always, Juliet, I don't I haven't said this in the video now. Your song's always amazing. Keep up the great work. I love you guys all in the Majogger Nuggets team making this series possible. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey guys, this went on Jesse's Twitter and he's doing it after the series is over. The whole cast, him him and the whole cast is doing a QA. and a He tweeted that to ask questions. So if you guys have any questions, go to his Twitter, go ask the questions. And yeah, that's all I wanted to let you guys know. So yeah, see series finale next episode. Then after that next episode video, I'm going to do like another video just talking about the whole series as a whole and like how I felt about it and... I am sad that it's over my hat because with the edit grind, like this edit's gonna probably be a little bit longer and like getting late. So I'm gonna go now, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna let you know that. I'm happy about it. I don't know if I'm asking a question I don't really have any at the moment. I think I'm just so overwhelmed by the episode tonight. So that's why. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Peace.